would you be able to give us the gist of what was said in that phone conversation, Rob? Uh, primarily, I, I um, um, just talked about the things that I've just discussed with you. That yeah. uh, I'd understand there'd be a degree of frustration on his behalf, but I just wanted to allay any fears that he may have about um, maybe being pushed to the side. That certainly won't be the case. As I said, he'll be a critical part given his experience and his relationship with the players. Um, and and um, I just said to him, you know, hopefully that we can form a really strong working relationship, one that is empowering for both of us. And um, ultimately, his final sort of comment was, you know, he's he's 100% supportive and, and is just really wants the Munster boys to be the best they can be. And he'll do everything he can to help that happen. And so um, to that end, I was, uh, again, you know, um, really, really... Uh, humbled by his approach and response because it, it could have been a difficult situation. And was it made clear to you during the process or since you were given the job that part of your remit is to groom Foley as a coach because a lot of people see him as maybe the next head coach after you? Yeah, um, that was alluded to me early on that that uh, you know that's what they would like to do and I um, really committed that that would be part of my thinking. I think it's really important to have that continuity and the ability to have someone that's got the experience, as I said, of European rugby and and um, already established relationships with the group. And I, I you know, basically um, indicated to them that it would be something that I, I would be, if I was lucky enough to get the position, something that I'd be very supportive of that Anthony was retained. Did you speak to Paul O'Connell and Ron Lagara before you were appointed, Rob? Uh, yeah, I did. It was fortunate enough to have um, half an hour or so with, with each of them, just very impressive men and you can just see the fire burning in them to, to you know, get Munster to the forefront of Irish rugby again and um, they were, you know, they're very passionate, dedicated rugby men and uh, that was inspiring for me.